sweet, cuddly, vicious little panda. Jesus Christ, dog man, don't scare me like that. It's beautiful here. You on the, you on the set? So Jack, yes. talk a little bit about uh, right. hey, uh, how's, how's the working out? about the experience for you. Was uh, playing the guy because I feel like you had to were the one who had to sort of like go through the most physical. I was just wondering though if Matt McConaughey was basing it on any one uh, agent in particular. I don't know. You'd have to ask did he, him. I did think... he want to go and spend time with your agent? No, I think Matt was. Uh, you know, obviously he he knows agents and has been you know in the business, but um, I'm just saying because your agent is named Nick, and his name is Rick. Yes. There is a Nick Rick. When I first read the script, I thought Nick Stevens, your agent, should just play the role. Yeah, that would have been great. Nick would have been hilarious playing the role. Yeah. It's a totally different, uh, a different uh, way to go. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's um, a beautiful looking dude. Yeah, Nick's great. He's but he's very you know he's, he's very skinny. Like uh, I think he weighs like 130 pounds. I mean, the ladies like him. Though. The ladies like him. Hell of a right? golfer. Yeah, an incredible oh, golfer. Oh wait a minute, Shoots man. Shoots in the 60s. Look at his classic close up. Oops. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah this, well, this my character. Scene. Okay, obviously, uh, that was a little cartoony version of a of a uh, withdrawal symptoms. I couldn't find any really good footage of people going through hardcore withdrawals. I watched some documentary footage of people do. And then I just like you know what I'm just gonna imagine it. I'm just gonna you imagine had, you had that jaw wanting thing. something so bad, and then and uh, well, the jaw thing was just uh, that's, that's sort of a cokey thing that I that I always wanted to do. Yeah, and it's hard to do that. Pump the brakes, key. There you go. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway, back to me. <laughs> and so what I ended up doing, I just watched a lot of movies with people going through stuff. I watched your movie. Oh, you did. I watched, yeah. I watched Permanent Midnight. Yes. I watched uh, Drugstore Cowboy. Mm. That man, I'm sick of this koala hugging nigga. Tell him he's there. You go. Whoa, I was doing this scene, Robert. For 400 years, I was the first one of us all get out. It's kept us down. I just thought if a man has no understanding of black culture, probably the first thing to come to him is like a theme song or something. It seemed to play out pretty good. Shot a couple of times, moved on. <laughs> That that theme song actually is a Stone Cold Jam. Me and Kyle used to cover it when we did Tenacious D really? concerts. Really, Jeffersons? Yeah. Really, moving on up. It's a great, it's a great jam. Brandon T. God bless him, man. He helped us get the balance right. He did, because so uh, we didn't have people coming after us. Not that we wasn't sensitive and kind of we have a moral psychology of sorts. No, but it was really important to obviously to have his point of view. Yeah. And when we were in rehearsals, we changed that scene around to make that deal right. That's where Jack says he wants to wear the entrails of the cloven hoofed animal like a leotard. I don't think anyone, I don't know that it's actually a side effect of uh, going through withdrawals is that you want to <laughs> eat, eat <us>. big animals. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, we really, that came out of the scene where, it, and it's cut out in, in uh, Platoon, the do the, let's do the village scene. Is do oh, the yeah. Yak. So have, you, have you wanted to do the yak? Let's do the yak, which we ended up cutting out. Uh, it's not even a yak. What's it like directing a scene where you tied to something? Well, this one was easier than the one in the beginning when I had my hands behind my back because it okay. wasn't. I was sort of like able to get in and out of it. But um, this is where you know, you, you come into full effect right here. Yeah, this is where um, this is where Tug comes in. Tug really own. thinks he's really Look, deep you in the movie. flexing that bicep too. <laughs> yeah, when he saw that security camera. He's yeah. like, yeah. He starts to play Look it at that shit, look, man. <laughs> that almost looked like a leg. That's a big ass arm. Now we cut back here to the guys, and this is um, Sandusky's Rennie Harlan rant, which I just <laughs> always thought was very, very funny. And um, again, we just didn't. I like the shots and everything. We just Beautiful. didn't have the sort of the room for it in the movie when we, as we tightened up, because we wanted to keep it going. But you're shut the fuck up. <laughs> it makes me laugh. <laughs> Now here is a scene that's not in the theatrical version of the movie, um, and it was really because it was a one or the other scene with that first scene where I get brought into camp, the one that's in the movie where uh, True and I are spitting at each other. Mm -hmm. And um, it's basically the same idea where Speedman thinks he's in the movie, thinks he's doing an interrogation scene. So uh, the same way the bamboo scene before the pea scene was sort of redundant, the same thing with this one. But um, 
I just uh, I love I think this Reggie part. is so good in the scene, Reggie Lee, and uh, we enjoyed the scene. It was a t- it was a sort of a toss up, uh, just because it felt uh, it felt redundant. We ended up going with the other one just because it had more <laughs> consistent laughs. I think. Um, Look at you go. This was the. <laughs> He's yeah, and I think Reggie is so great because he plays it so real, and he just doesn't—he really doesn't go for uh, the comedy at all. He's just playing like a guy, like a real, you know, guy who really wants to get information out of me, but he's not over the top. He totally and then he gets upset when I kick him, you know, when I kick him, it really upsets him. Now he had to figure out a way to express his anger without beating the crap out of me immediately, and uh, I really think he internalized that so well. The miscommunication thing <laughs> happening between the two guys. I see moss on both sides of that tree. Well, you know, maybe if I wasn't the only one at the oh, camp. Well, it really hurts you guys. Uh, I'm not joking. I'm nauseous. So here we come. I remember this shooting. This scene was oh, it was wow. not not an easy one for us. Remember this day, Jack? Oh yeah. Look how it come up. Look at this here. <laughs> yeah. Now, the way I remember the day we shot this scene. <laughs> you actually had to take away some barf from yeah, my we mouth. Yeah, we did. Because it was, it was too, too disgusting. <laughs> Jack we had all this oatmeal in a little you cup mean below the rock. You had to do that shit digitally? Uh, yep, we digitally had to remove some because oh it just was God, it was way too much. Um, and Robert, I seem to remember you had just come back from some Iron Man publicity, like Comic-Con or something and I like that. And I wasn't... In the moment, right. so much you sort of dropped out of character, and we're trying to find it again. Wow! Um, I think you even told me don't use so much barf on this next take, and I just didn't listen to you <laughs> because I loved the barf. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You were really into it. I really definitely... fell in love with it. Man, yeah. you red as a fucking lobster in this shit. Yeah, or using some burnt maybe. <laughs> no, he's definitely red in this scene. Um, maybe my b- my belt was too tight. <laughs> And then we, what's in this version that's not in the other version is your Bermuda Triangle run. Oh, oh yeah. 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 That couldn't have been any fun. That yeah. was, you know what, the only thing that was tough about this was that we had to shoot it over two days and we didn't get it the first now, time. Now, was that just your hands in there or did they have something running down to a belt in the back? No, no, just my hands. That's crazy, was, man. Yeah. I like your monocle thing that you use too, your single sight <laughs> thing. <laughs> like that you figured that out. You know, this is like the point of the movie where you sort of just, if the audience wasn't on board, we would have been in totally. big trouble just because it's really having to buy into the fact that, you know, that this character thinks he's in a movie. <laughs> Why does he do that? To try to intimidate <laughs> me. Seems to work. <laughs> What, did you have on knee pads when they threw you on the ground? <laughs> I did have knee pads. Thank God, man. That's a hell of an impact. Yeah, this was, uh, uh, you know, we're back in L.A. shooting on the stages. and You this really, is the question you where really you work with that young man. Yes, he, he was amazing. He was a natural, but he needed you. Well, <laughs> he's Brandon Suhu. He's uh, a really great young actor. It's his first movie. He um, came in. He, he just nailed it in the audition. This a hell of a turnaround, man. The audience goes crazy for yeah. this bit. And he did not he did not hold back <laughs> on those um on the switch. Uh and he was amazing. Seriously though, this this kid That's is That's a just, great subtlety she goes there realizing that you're the actor. Yeah. Yeah, he got all these moments. He got all these moments and he didn't hold hold back at all, and yet he's uh you know, very He's a very sweet kid, too. He's just, you know. You playing all kinds of levels yourself now, right now. <laughs> I don't know. Am I a simple joke? Am I just going to work? What does he want? Right. I'm trying to figure out what's Am going I on. Um, this in the script. But I was relieved the first time we screened the movie that, that people sort of uh, oh, really laughed at this Man, moment. They loved it. Because we didn't know if people would buy into the fact that, you know, that I actually thought it was in the movie. And that Which was a means good sign. People, people wind up liking Tug. Right. It was a They're good sign. They're with them now. Yeah. You got them right where you want them both. And uh, <laughs> I do feel like that's, you know, really important in a movie like this. You have to sort of keep the momentum going and that the story at this point has to kick in. Otherwise, uh, people are sort of... You know, at this point, like any of the humor that comes just out of stuff that you divert for is not going to support itself this, when you get deep into the movie. Got to dig deeper. Yeah. Got to dig deeper. You do. <laughs> I love that we've actually accepted Robert in this voice for <laughs> yeah. the whole commentary. And again, I find myself strangely 
liking this guy more I than the, the, I the reg- go. regular it, Robert. It wouldn't um, be PC if I did no, not. So. No, of course. You got to... Now, are you going to do it like when are you going to drop character at the end of the the, the credits? You got to go... Are you going to go into Lazarus... Australian and then I think decompress. Once, I think once no? once Osiris ain't Osiris no more. I gotta be Lazarus. Okay, good. and then maybe be me for B. Good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Here comes some serious Look crazy shit that. again. All right.